Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use System IO for your email marketing. We will cover the two main features under the Emails tab, Newsletters and Campaigns. Let's get started. First, let's look at newsletters. A newsletter is a single, one-time email broadcast used for announcements or special offers. Let's create our first newsletter by clicking on the Create button. You'll first see the subject field, which is the email's title that your recipients will see. I'll write New Offer. Next is the sender name, which is the name displayed as the sender. Then you have the sender email address. It's important to note that you need to confirm any email address that you wish to use as well as authenticate its domain name. This is very essential to the deliverability of your emails. I recommend you read our help articles where we provide more details on these topics. Now you choose an editor. You have the visual editor and the classic editor. The visual editor offers a drag and drop interface that offers more visual customization and layouts. The classic editor is for simpler, text-focused emails. We'll proceed with the classic editor. In the editor, the configuration happens on the right-hand panel. Here you can change the previous settings in case you need to. And here you can click to add file attachments. As mentioned before, Sending newsletters is based on tags and using them to select your audience is mandatory. Use the include these tags field to select who receives the email. Use the exclude these tags field to exclude specific contacts. A key feature here is the ability to send emails only to contacts who registered over a certain number of days. This is useful if you have an automated welcome campaign running and want to avoid sending this broadcast to your newest leads. To increase engagement, use the Available Personalization Substitutes section. For example, writing Hey First Name will automatically insert each contact's name, making the email more personal. Once your email is ready, your options are at the top are Save Draft, Save and Test, Save and Send, and Save and Schedule. We recommend you click Save and Send a Test Email to check for any errors in your own inbox. When you are confident, click Save and Schedule. A window will appear where you can set the exact date and time for the newsletter to be sent. After you save, your email is scheduled. Now, let's look at campaigns. A campaign is a series of automated emails sent sequentially after a contact is subscribed to them. This is what you use for welcome sequences or email courses. Remember, a contact can be subscribed to an email campaign, either manually, like we saw before, or automatically using automation rules or workflows. To create one, Click Create, name your campaign, for example, 5-Day Challenge, choose an email address and add a description for your own reference if you want, then click Save. To start building the sequence, click on the campaign name, then click Create. The initial setup is the same as for a newsletter. I'll select the classic editor again and click Save. After you write your email, the process is different. For a campaign email to become active, you must click Save and Publish. A saved draft will never be sent. This step is crucial. Clicking Save and Publish opens the Delay Configuration window. This is where you control the automation. Here you set the delay for when this email will be sent. For the first email like this one, the delay is set for a time after a contact is subscribed. For all subsequent emails, the delay is set for a time after the previous email was sent, which we can choose here. You can set the delay in days, hours, or even minutes. You can also specify a particular time of day for the email to be sent and even choose which days of the week. For an email to be sent, all the specified conditions must be met. Once you have configured the delays, click Activate. Your email is now live in the campaign. You can continue this process to build out your entire automated sequence. So that's it. To summarize, use newsletters for manual, one-time broadcasts, use campaigns to create automated, time-delayed email sequences, Mastering these features will let you automate your email marketing effectively. I'll see you in the next video.